Zayed says, why is there no Bismillah at the start of Surah at tawbah I heard from people many times that it's because Allah's uh, uh, Azza wa Jal was angry. Is this authentic? This is one of the interpretations that some scholars said that because it is a surah where Allah Azza wa Jal exposes the hypocrites and threatens them with severe torment in this life and in the hereafter, Allah did not begin it with the most merciful, the most beneficent. But this is not authentic. The most authentic opinion is that Abdullah ibn Abbas, the companion and the cousin of the Prophet asked Uthman, the one who compiled the Quran, why didn't you make them or merge them into one surah? That is Surah Al-Anfal and Surah Al-Tawbah. He said, Uthman, whenever a revelation was given to the Prophet he used to tell us, put this ayah after this particular ayah in Surah so-and-so, and this ayah put it in uh, the Surah of so-and-so between these two ayahs. So the order of the verses of the Quran was something that nobody had any control of except the Prophet So when Surah Al-Anfal and Surah At-Tawbah were revealed, and the Prophet used to tell them where to put what, where. And Fal was revealed in the beginning of Medina era. And uh, uh, Bara'a or Tawbah was at the end. So they were waiting for the Prophet ﷺ to tell them whether to merge them or not. Because the Prophet ﷺ died without telling them, so they did not merge them. They made them separate surahs. Okay, this is fair enough. But why didn't they put Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim like every other surah? Sheikh ibn Athimin says, because Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim is a separate ayah dividing between surahs. And they could not introduce such an ayah without the recommendation and the command of the Prophet ﷺ. Because he did not tell them, to, uh, 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 tell them to put it, they did not put it and they separated these two surahs from one another and Allah Azza wa knows best.